One of my favorites. I do just want to say thank you everyone for all of those really, really nice comments about well, the stuff that I shared in the video before. And you will come to learn on this channel that I'm a fairly open person. It's really hard to describe. And especially when you make videos and you have things going on in your life, it's, I don't know, I just find it so bizarre when I talk to the camera and I don't really share what's going on like I just kind of ignore it and just carry on filming it just doesn't feel authentic and that's just who I am it's just the type of person I am I'm very like my personal journey and my personal development journey is so tied to my photography that I just can't yeah I can't help but share or like update you guys on what's kind of going on in my life because I also think that you're my family now and I like to share with you because I know a lot, I do have a lot of people on here who care about me and I appreciate you guys a lot so anyways I just want to say thank you so much for all of those comments and just expect that though on this channel as I share like my photographic journey with you I also will be sharing my personal journey with you all of that being said let's talk about what I'm photographing tonight so I didn't just come to the location without a plan I definitely have a plan I know what I'm photographing I have been here many times so I already know the scene like where I want to go the the spot I want to do this I have photographed this in the summertime already so I have a summer version of it now I want a snowy blue hour version and I am going to be waiting until blue hour for this because I also made a lantern to use I had to make it because I couldn't find mine and I live in a small town there's just nowhere to get one so I had to improvise and make one but anyways I'm really really excited to execute this shot I've been thinking about it all week this is the lantern I don't have the lights turned on yet because I want to preserve the battery but it's basically just I just need lights and strings so I am able to hold it up where I can look at it into the camera. You will not be able to tell that it looks like this in the image because I will, I will be quite small and far away. You'll just be able to see that I'm holding a light which should look like a lantern. I'm just walking to back. I had to take Ollie in the vehicle and put him away because it's so hard when Ollie's out here with me just because he's a whippet and he gets really cold quickly and but I don't like leaving him behind so the compromise is he comes out and runs around for a little bit and then I put him back in the vehicle until I'm done and that's just easiest for both of us he already knocked me over running on the trail he was so excited to be out it was so so cute to see him just run and just love it I just ah oh, it makes my heart so happy anyway I'm almost at the little grouping of trees that I do want to photograph the biggest challenge of this shot there's no reason this shot shouldn't work out but the biggest challenge is going to be that I'm probably going to sink pretty deep into the snow so I hope that that just looks natural like imagine if I sunk in kind of up to my thighs that's what I'm going to have to work around so hopefully I can hopefully I'm light enough that I don't make the snow all sink in We had a wild love, I watched it grow up till we came undone I'm sorry that I let the flower die Oh, but I still feel that we can refill the glass that we spilled Oh, we can turn this water into wine Cause all of the things that we never did Yeah, Jack's on a leash Oh, we know that there is only time And it's working against us I love to think 
have my dress on now. It definitely got a lot colder and we are losing a lot of the mountain. There's a cloud that's coming in. Basically, it's going to swallow it. So I already took a photo. It's not as dark as I would like it to be, but I already took the photo so I could make sure that I could see the mountain peak before it gets completely consumed. And then I think, like, I do think I could... Yeah, there's still light throwing off at my face. So I probably could do the shot now. I would definitely prefer it to be a little bit darker, but I think I'm gonna have to do it because the weather is just not cooperating. So here we go. So oh, I'm all set up. This is the scene that I'll be photographing. I love this. I think it is so beautiful. There's this little bit with the tree that I kind of think I might compose around a little bit better. I do notice it right away that it's just right at the edge, but everything else I just absolutely love. And if you can envision where I'll be standing with the lantern, it's going to be right here. I haven't walked in to the snow yet because I don't want to disturb the fresh snow. I just want to do it with one shot pretty much. But that is basically what I'm going to be photographing with me and a lantern. Just waiting for a little bit more darkness with blue hour to set in. I'm going to have to photograph it. I'm probably going to be photographing it around f5.6 and my ISO is probably going to be quite high just for the part where I'm photographing myself because I want to be sharp and not have any movement in me because this is not going to be a long exposure or anything like that but I because it's going to be darker it's really important that I stand very still and I have that fast enough shutter speed so I'm okay to compensate for that with a higher ISO doesn't make any difference to me or again stopping down my aperture if you mean it come and weather the storm fight like lovers go together in turn if you want this then come as you are if you want so that worked out like beautifully it was a little hard to get to the spot where i'm at i'm starting to get i'm starting to get really cold so i'm gonna pack it up now but oh my gosh i'm really excited for this shot i think when i get back i just had to walk back to the cameras right over there but when i get back i'll show you the back of the screen and my friend james helped me out which was really really handy if someone is here i will definitely get them to help me but if i'm by myself obviously i have a whole setup for that but yeah i'm so happy i'm so excited for this shot Here's the back of the camera and let's just say I'm so excited to get home and edit this one. Oh my gosh, everything came together for this shot. It is perfect. Put a link to it wherever I need to and you guys can go follow it.